Shades Mike from Party for Crafts and behind me is the new as of September, October 2024 X-Tool P2S. I've made some previous videos about the difference between the P2 and the P2S and there are some pretty incredible changes. But today I'm going to be talking to you about an absolutely amazing software upgrade for the P2S. Have you ever tried to engrave one of these tapered tumblers that has this, the bottom section is narrower than the top section? It's great because this fits in a cup holder and this wouldn't, but usually what you do to make that happen is you lift it up like this so that the top and bottom are at the same height, but then you have all of this that's out of focus and then all of this that's out of focus. They're all close to focus, but not quite in focus. Sometimes you can see the problems with that. You can see that this part, this section here, and this taper right here will be a little bit out of focus. Well, X-Tool P2S has fixed that. So go back and watch my video on the X-Tool P2 about engraving curved surfaces. If you have a bowl, the X-Tool P2 can go up and down as it's engraving the inside of the bowl. It scans the surface and makes a 3D map of that surface and then the head moves up and down as it engraves that. Well now it can do the same thing with cylindrical items. The X-Tool P2S will scan the surface of this and make a map and as it's engraving the head will follow the contours of the tumbler. How about that? No more accepting that some parts are out of focus and some parts aren't. No more trying to measure and see when it's, it's level. You don't even have to get it level anymore. You could put it like this. You could put it like this and it'll scan the surface and make a 3D map and it'll engrave it no matter how you have it in there. That is amazing. That's an amazing software upgrade for the X-Tool P2S. Come here, I'll show you. All right, let me show you all the steps now here in this new X-Tool Creative Space software. I have you, as you can see, I have the tumbler set up in there. It doesn't look great because that's the big camera and I have the lid open. And, um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch this. There's the regular use rotary and here's the curved material use rotary attachment. I'm gonna click on that. And then right next to it is this little symbol. As you can see in that little animation, I'm gonna generate the surface and then it rotates that surface all the way around. So you could do a full wrap on a curved surface just by plotting a little bit of it. Now this tumbler has a pretty sharp edge on the bottom. So I'm gonna choose a lot of points. Now, all I need to do is move the laser head until the red dot is on. Let me go back to my camera here. Okay, so here we are over at the laser and I have my RA2 Pro rotary in here. All you have to do, um, last time I used it, I used it in the S1 and it has a different connector. So it comes with all these different cords. They just pop right out here, pop a new one in, and then it's ready for the P2. I have this set in here so that it rotates smoothly all the way around. It's clearly not level. But that doesn't even matter. I'm going to show you right now. So every time I click that green button, you can see the laser head moving. And you can see the red dot down there. So when it gets close, I'm going to start moving it downward. And shortly, that red dot hits the tumbler. So I want to do the top left corner first, and the animation shows you that. But first I'm going to drop this number way down so it doesn't move 50 steps each time. Let me set it on 10. Now when I hit it, it takes smaller steps. And I'll move it right about there and a little to the left so we get all that curve in there. You can see where that dot is now. Hit mark. It blinks for a second and it's good to go. Now. I'm going to take it over to the bottom right corner. You can see that red dot moving every time I click. I can't see it though. Take it all the way up close to the edge. 
Now I'll bring it down approximately symmetrical with the other one, but it doesn't matter. It's going to make a 3D map. It doesn't matter if it's symmetrical or not. All right, and that's it on inside of the laser. So I'm going to stop that video and head back over here. All right, next step, click Next. And this is where we choose how many points we want it to make in order to make this 3D map. I did it with 10 by 10, I've done it with 8 by 8, and it came out great. But I want to show you how fast this is. I'm going to put it on 10 by 10, so it has 100 points to mark. And then I want you to see how incredibly fast. This is a big upgrade from the P2 that they've never even talked about. Watch how fast this goes when I click measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It did 10 points already. 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's how fast it is. This is incredible. It's going to do 100 points in less than a minute. That is absolutely amazing and a huge improvement. All right, now there it is. There's the 3D map. It wraps all the way around. So you could do a full wrap all the way around the tumbler. Actually, it's thicker at the bottom. It goes this way. All the way around this tumbler, top to bottom, left to right. It would be absolutely perfect. So let me get out of there real quick. And I'm going to add the image now. I know which one it is. Sip, sip, hooray. Open that. It shows up way up here at the top. So I just drag that down here, approximately where I want it. Zoom in. Now remember, this side is the top of the tumbler. This side is the bottom of the tumbler. So first, I need to rotate this and it snaps when it gets to 90 degrees. Snapped right there. I'm going to take it beyond the part that I 3D map just to show you that you could do a full wrap. That's what this whole white area is. This whole white area is a full wrap all the way around 360 degrees. And notice, I have never typed in the diameter or the perimeter of this object. It figures all that out mathematically. It just knows. So here it is. It's beyond the two marks, the red dots that I did. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna center it. I'm gonna move it off to the side, and you'll see that it doesn't even matter. If you're trying to center it over a logo or something, sure that would matter. But for this, it doesn't matter. I have it centered kind of left to right with similar gaps here and here, but. You know, I could stretch it all the way if I wanted to. And now I just set up these numbers over here. Power, I'm going to go uh, 30. Speed, the max you can do is 50 because the head can't move up and down fast enough to go any faster than that. But in order to get this feature, it's worth going a little bit slower. That is not a problem. So here we go. I'm going to close the lid. Uh, let me show you one more thing now that I have that added. Watch this. I'm going to do 3D preview. We're back to here again, but now look at all these items down here. I can now click this, and are you seeing this? Uh, are you seeing this? I can now model what it's going to look like on my Tumblr. Are you? Are you kidding me? This is amazing. That There is no other laser. I don't care how much you pay. There is no other laser that I'm aware of that can do this. All right. I hit process. I click start. Hit the magic blue button. And here we go. You won't be able to see the head moving up and down, 
Well, you get the idea. You'll see it all in focus when it's done. mention the other new upgrade that it tell you how long the job is going to take before you even start it thank you x tool come over here with me you can see the head moving up and down a little bit zoom in there that's it I didn't make you watch the whole thing and I sped it up but that whole process took 16 minutes and 50 seconds so let me go clean that up and show you how it looks okay are you ready for this look at this that came out absolutely perfect every letter is crisp and in focus this is actually the first absolutely perfect tumbler I've ever done. Um, I'm not a, a tumbler person, so there are tons of how to set up the tumbler and how to do tumbler properly videos out there. That's not me, but like I messed this one up before on a, on a different machine. I won't say the name of it because the placement didn't work properly and it was way too high. And then there was this one that was crooked. <coughs> And then there was this one. Look at how bad that S looks at the bottom. And then there was this one that was both too high and crooked. So this is this is this is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this one. I did it very big to make sure that some of it got on the wrapped around part, and it came absolutely perfectly in focus, perfectly crisp. So well done, X-Tool. If you do tumblers, you must get yourself an X-Tool P2S. So if you engrave tumblers, you must get yourself one of these X-Tool P2S. I could say with 100% confidence, this is the best CO2 laser for engraving tumblers. All right, I'll see you next time.